Alexander Hamilton was born on November 20th, 1755. His role at the Constitutional Convention consisted of playing a little part in the writing of the Constitution, but his most important contribution, introduced on June 18th, 1787, was the quote-unquote Hamilton Plan. He believed that if there was more power in the states, people would want to get that power, which he thought would be very bad for the nation as a whole. So he proposed a British monarchy and parliament plan. The other delegates at the con convention thought his plan was very well thought out, but it was too similar to the British system, which was why they didn't agree on having his plan. Even though Hamilton did very little writing of the Constitution, his impact on what happened was that he showed the other delegates his opinions, wrote a big part of the Federalist Papers, and had a big impact on the overall government of America and the national politics. Besides being known for, her, for how he died in a duel with Aaron Burr, Alexander Hamilton is known for being a founding father of the Constitution, being on the $10 bill, writing most of the Federalist Papers, being the first Secretary of Treasury, founding the U.S. Bank, and keeping the young U.S. from going bankrupt because it couldn't pay off the Revolutionary War debt. are poorly written and lack an executive branch, courts, and taxing, and taxing powers. It might also lose the respect of its own citizens. I think that there should be a stronger federal government because the states should be united. I believe that the implied powers of the Constitution could be used to fund the American debt. The plan that I proposed in June 1787 is the best plan because it was modeled on the British system, which I consider the best in the world. But my fellow delegates do not really favor my plan. There should be no division. America needs to have stronger and more powerful federal government. powerful executive branch is necessary to prevent foreign attacks, have consistency in the administration of laws, protect private property, and protect men from the consequences of anarchy. Only the rich and wealthy men 
drawn from the wealthy and aristocratic strata of society could be necessary for the public good, members should be appointed by the legislators of different states. That question? Hmm. I'm a hypocrite. It depends on my mood. Sometimes I think slavery is a good thing. Sometimes it's a horrible thing. I believe that the federal government should advance economic growth by a program of internal government, roads, bridges, ferries, and harbors. The government should collect capital towards certain sectors of the economy. The Constitution protects our individual rights, and I don't see a need for the Bill of Rights. This is the video. <laughs> oh. I feel that the Articles of Confederation are poorly written. What am I supposed to say? I think that there should be a stronger federal government because the states should be united. I believe that the implied powers of the Constitution could be used to fund the national de debate. No! <laughs> I know. I bite. I bite. Replay. <laughs>